Hello Goingans. Today we are going to learn about an interesting topic that is angles. So let's start. Students look at this image. Let's outline it. We have a door. We have a roof of a building. Students, do you know what we are looking at? Yes, angles. So what is an angle? An angle is defined as the amount of turn between two rays that shares a common end point. Or we can say an angle is formed by two rays that have common end point. Students, let's have a look over the angles. We have like this, we have like this. So it's formed by the two rays which are sharing a common end point. Students, there are some terms associated with the angles. The first term is the vertex. The vertex of an angle is the common point where the two lines meet. Let me form an angle here or we can see from this example. This point is called the vertex. Let me frame it here. So this point that is shared by the two rays is called the vertex. So this is the common point. And this common point is called the vertex. Now the second term is arm. The arm of an angle or sides are the lines that make up the angle. So these two rays are called as the arm or the side of the angle. Then we have degrees. Students, the unit to measure an angle is called the degree. Or we can say the size of an angle is measured in degrees and usually denoted with this symbol. Students, remember this symbol, we always write this symbol to the right of the number. Say we have here the example, an angle may measure 45 degree. So 45 degree. So this symbol of degree is written to the right of the number. Then, Students, when we measure and draw an angle, we use a tool that is called the protractor. So protractor is a tool that is used to measure an angle. I hope students, all these four terms are clear to you. Now, students, we generally name an angle by three capital letter. Let's name this angle A O B. So how we can write it? We can write it like this way angle A O B. It should be noted students the letter at the vertex at the vertex always come in between the other two letters. So here the letter at the vertex is in the middle. So this is an important thing students. Remember it. I hope this is clear. Now students, we have to learn about the types of angles. There are so many types of angles. Let's learn them one by one. First is the right angle. A right angle is an angle whose major is exactly equal to 90 degree. See here students, the major of this angle is 90 degree. So we call this angle as the right angle. Students, if you can notice this, when we give the thumbs up, it makes a right angle. Students, try it and see the right angle. There are other examples as well. We have the corners of the room. We have the edges of the box. We have book. We have screen of the mobile phone. All these examples form the right angle. Now, acute angle. 
An angle whose major is less than 90 degrees is known as acute angle. Say for example 45, 65, we have 85, all these angles are less than 90 degrees. So this, these angles are known as acute angles. We have an example of pizza slice, we have an example of ice cream cone. So these figures, these objects form acute angle. Now students, we have obtuse angle, an angle whose major is higher than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is known as obtuse angle. So any angle which is between 90 and 180 degrees is known as obtuse angle. Now we have straight line angle. An angle whose measure is 180 degrees is known as straight line angle. I hope students all these angles are clear to you. Now I hope you can do exercise number 1 which is in your book on page number 137. Thank you very much.